All right, we're joined tonight by new uh, Port manager Stuart Maxwell. Stuart, welcome to the club. Uh, how does it feel to be the manager of Pollock? Yeah, it's it's uh, been a bit surreal the last couple of days. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, but uh, obviously from my background, tough decisions were made and coming for a club that had been at a long time. But I just felt in a footballing opportunity, it was too, too good an opportunity to turn yes. down. Yes. And uh, a new challenge yes. and hopefully uh, we can come to the ball and, and big support demanding success. So uh, we hopefully we can try and achieve some of that for them. Uh, yeah, you mentioned the big support and demand success. Having managed uh, Kirk and Tal Broadway for so long, um, coming up against Paul a good few times as you have, uh, you're aware of uh, the success and the demands that our fans put on uh, on Pollock? Totally, I think uh, this, this game is probably one of the most iconic at non yeah. level in our, our, our setup. And I think a lot of teams come here, as my teams have in the past, and raise their game and, and, and enjoy the atmosphere, the crowd, the playing surface. So it's always, when you're at a big club, it's, every team comes like a cup final. So. You've got to accept that and you've got to cope with that demand and as you said, I've been here a number of times over the years, a few wins here as a visit manager so hopefully I can reverse that as a, as a home manager now. <laughs> um, and you've obviously inherited a squad that's uh, not necessarily your own but they're, they're players that you know well having came up against them over the years. Um, can you see any big changes coming up with the squad? I think I'm, I'm quite an open and honest guy. He uh, had a good chat with the players tonight. Uh, as any manager comes out, it's a clean slate, I think. Uh, and then we give everybody an opportunity. Some guys might have not featured through one reason or another than the previous manager. And that's fine, that'll be the same where, 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 where I've came from as well. But you've got to give people opportunity and people maybe take that. And uh, you've, you've, got to, you've got to look at the, the dynamics of the squad. And, we top pegs in certain positions and need something there, so we'll, we'll, we'll sort of drill that down in the next couple of weeks and uh, we'll, we'll take it forward and see where we go. And uh, you join us, the club uh, won at the weekend against Pierce Hill, put us second in the table. Uh, it's a good platform for you to build on for the rest of the season? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, uh, as you can see, a very tight league this year and uh, there's not a lot of points separating the top ten teams. But at some point it will start to separate, I think, it, uh, we're going to like some of the top teams will be battling out and we just hope we can keep ourselves in the mix. Uh, good performance against Peter on Saturday. Should have been more, to be honest, was, uh, as, we, as we all probably know that. But like I say, we've got to keep ourselves in about a big four weeks coming up, a lot of big games and there's a transition obviously with us coming in. And so we've got to try and keep ourselves in the mix and then we'll see how, how the next four games progress. Yep, and you mentioned the upcoming games and obviously the first one coming up, uh, possibly one of the biggest games in the club's history against the United on Monday night, looking forward to that? Yeah, like I say, I don't do things easy, so uh, getting thrown into that game is it's fine, it's, it's, it's about the club, it's about the supporters, it's about the players that I've got in there, I said that to me, I said you've, you've earned us with your excellent performance in the previous round against Annan, so you've got to go enjoy the night, enjoy the occasion and, and go and give a, a good account of yourselves, which I feel expect for any, any pop player that's in my team going forward. And, we're going up against a top class side, we know that, probably the hard, hardest story you can get in that sort of third round draw, but listen, you yeah, just go out and give a good account of yourselves and you better work and play well on the night, you never know what can happen, as long as the Paul fans can see the effort and application, I think they'll be happy with that. Alright, thanks very much for your time, uh, welcome to the club and all the very best. Thanks very much.